At 14, Duke Anamoku embraced his responsibility to master the ultimate Hawaiian tradition, becoming a waterman. A waterman is someone who can do everything in the water. As a kid in Hawaii, you wanted to be a waterman, and the Duke was the big kahuna. To us, he's the king of surfing. No American athlete has influenced two sports as profoundly as Duke Kahanamoku. He was on the world stage, even though the world wasn't ready for it. All of a sudden, it's like he's a superstar. Jim Thorpe, Jesse Owens, Jack Johnson, and lost in that shuffle is Duke's role as a racial pioneer. He did encounter overt racism. He was able to break a lot of color lines. The amount of pride that he was able to give to his people. He was one of the biggest celebrities in the world. Aloha. He had come from nowhere to the Olympic team in three months, which is an unrivaled story in Olympic history. He changed the world with a Kahanamoku kick, the same kick that Michael Phelps learned. A superhuman feat. He's bringing a sport that nobody has seen before to their shores. I think that Duke shared surfing with the world because it was the greatest gift that he had received in his life, and he wanted other people to experience it. He rescued so many people. Life-saving wasn't a profession back then. There are true heroes in the world, and he was one of them. Duke accomplished the seemingly impossible. the story of one of America's greatest icons. When the world saw Duke, they saw Hawaii.